When he's not catching waves on the coastlines of Cape Town, legendary television personality Michael Mole is as busy as ever. Balancing being a family man with an exciting career in mobile medicine, Michael invited us into his home to share some important tips on staying healthy. Hey, welcome to our home. Well, technically with kids at varsity and school, it's my home just for the day. Come on in. So working from home during lockdown has meant we've had to find some creative ways to keep moving and not sit for such extended periods of time. This is a cycling desk, which is used by my youngest when he plays his video games, but it's also my work desk, which allows me to get a laptop up here and essentially work and not sit still with my knees at 90 degrees. I'm not gonna sweat, I'm not gonna get tired, but I certainly am not gonna sit stationary, which is really, really bad for my health. So a little entertainment area for us. Uh, I used to be a guitarist and then my kids got good at guitar and then I just didn't wanna play anymore. So one of those things. And this is not an illegal stash of wine. This is my own wine. We had a home with a little vineyard, made a barrel a season. Bit of a story behind this one. It's called 515. There's a Bible verse that says, I'm the vine, you're the branches, if a man remains in me and I in him, he'll bear much fruit, John 5, 15, hence the name of the wine. Only after I'd printed the labels and opened my first bottle, I went back to the verse and it turns out it's not John 5, 15, it's John 15, 5. John 5, 15 says, stop this life of sinning or something worse will happen to you. <laughs> I get my name from my uncle Michael, who was a medical student and at the age of 23, dropped dead and died. At that point, he thought he was healthy, had no idea he had a berry aneurysm. And that's always stayed with me, this whole idea of just because you're not sick doesn't mean you're healthy. He's the reason I studied medicine, to finish what he started. And that idea of just landing with people, understand that just because you're not sick doesn't mean you're healthy. Health is a proactive pursuit, is kind of a life mission. I get my biggest kicks out of making health easy to understand and practical to apply. So you can stop fretting about your well-being and start enjoying it, because life really is better when you're healthy. There are essentially three core pillars when it comes to health. Just three things, eat, sleep and move. When it comes to eating, there's a good rule of thumb that says if it comes from a plant or grows, it's good. When it comes to sleeping, we need seven hours minimum as adults and when you sleep, you gotta be consistent and you need to think like a Batman, cool, dark and quiet. And then the third pillar really is move more. Exercise, we know it's a miracle drug, it combats chronic disease, it helps you with weight management, it boosts energy and immunity and sex drive and brain power, it's free, it's addictive. But I think the biggest challenge around exercise is we need a daily dose of it, but the question is why aren't people getting the daily dose? And that's because they don't have a compelling why. The best exercise in the world is the one that you will do and that you will continue doing. As lame as that sounds, science has shown that, that one exercise doesn't have benefit over another as long as you do it at the right intensity for your fitness levels. So as a family, we've chosen exercise that we love to do because we want to keep doing it and exercise that we can do together as a family. We're of different strengths, so for us to ride together, that's never really worked. Electric bikes or not. We can't run together. I've got a dodgy knee, so I can't keep up with my kids, but we surf together. We love being in the water, we love being in the outdoors, we love being in the sun, and it doesn't matter what level of surfing you are. If you're competent on a surfboard, we can surf pretty much any break together, and the times we spend behind the breakers, hanging out, talking, just kind of being a family, is brilliant. I've had some of the most significant conversations with my kids sitting on a surfboard hunting waves. So we call this the surf shack, once an old garage, divided into two sections. Come in. This is the stoke section, and this is the broke section. Collarbone, knee, broken elbow, and of course, a bank account, because mountain biking is not cheap. Well, let me show you what the Mole family has for breakfast every single day. Ta-da! Nothing. 
<laughs> Why? Because breakfast is not the most important meal of the day, despite what your mother told you. In fact, studies are now showing that people that have breakfast tend to battle more with their weight than those who skip breakfast. As a mole family, we are intermittent fasters, which means for 16 hours we don't eat, and for eight hours we do. So last meal at eight o'clock, first meal again at midday, uh, black coffee in between. Do you know that we absorb the antioxidants in coffee far more effectively than we absorb antioxidants out of vegetables? That's why this is just so good for you. So today we're talking trout, good healthy fat omega-3s in particular, and we're baking it, not frying it, because when you fry your fish, you pretty much torpedo the benefits of the heart protective effects that omega-3s give you. So baked fish, always a winner, and in this case, baked trout. This warm water and wine and lemon is basically going to steam our trout. With all the confusion around what's healthy to eat, most people think it's easy to complete the income tax returns and figure out what do I eat that's healthy. There are some basics that haven't changed. And the basics are simply this. If it walks, crawls, swims, or flies, or grows, it's good. So we're gonna put this in an oven, preheated oven. It's gonna steam for 15 minutes and then it's gonna be perfect for lunch. Okay, fish in the oven. Here's what we're gonna have with the fish as colorful as possible. This is good for you. Blueberries, ha, these things, oh, that was close. It's not quite 12 o'clock yet. These are superfood superstars. They have something, a plant compound in them called anthocyanin, which gives them their blue color, but also gives them their heart health benefits. Good for your brain, good for your heart. And blueberries are the most nutrient dense foods you can get. You can't have enough blueberries. Oh, wow. Gotta love that smell, man. That looks delicious, it is ready. Batter up. No, no, no batter. Steamed fish. Final touch is a bit of rice vinegar, olive oil, and orange juice, and we are done. Fantastic. You know, COVID's been really good for home-cooked family meals. Before COVID, I'd call the kids for dinner and they'd all run to the car. Now they run to the table. Michael and the Hello Doctor team have developed an app that gives people access to doctors on their phone anytime, anywhere, in any language. There was an article online that came out recently with the headline, Whatever Happened to Michael Moll? You know, we saw him one day and then he was just gone. Well, for the past couple of years, I've been working on trying to solve a healthcare crisis in South Africa and Africa at large. And that's really access to healthcare. And we've done that through Hello Doctor, essentially giving people access to a doctor on their phone, anytime, anywhere, in any language within an hour. Studies around the world have shown that 70% of people that visit clinics or GPs actually don't need to go to the doctor. And those issues could have been dealt with over the phone. In fact, 40% of visits to ERs are unnecessary. And we figured in a country where our public healthcare system is already overstrained and under-resourced, to bring in a mobile health service where people can access doctors over the phone would be really, really beneficial. And that was the birth of Hello Doctor. The big idea behind the Hello Doctor app is really to get access to a doctor as soon as possible, anytime, anywhere, in any language. You can do it through the app. It's as simple as opening the landing page, clicking on speak to a doctor. The question then is, would you like to text a doctor or would you like to talk to a doctor? So far, we have a ratio of around four to one. More people prefer to chat than actually physically talk to a doctor. In this instance, I'm saying I'd like to talk to a doctor. Uh, I confirm and essentially, I then wait for a doctor to call me back. Dr. Ingrid De Beer shows us more about how the app works and how they've helped in the fight against COVID-19. When a patient logs a request, we will get an SMS on our mobile phone to warn us that it's there. During the day, it's busy enough that you're sitting in front of your computer all the time and you see them popping up. So I will then open that case and either respond to the patient with a phone call or with a text chat, depending on what they've requested and then basically find out what the issue is, what their concerns are to try and address it and give them advice. So it's probably just flu, you can stay at home, suggest these over-the-counter medications, or no, this is actually quite serious, you need to go see your GP, or unfortunately in some cases, yes, this is very severe, get in your car and go to the ER immediately. So it's almost like a triage system. COVID has been a very, very, very busy time. I felt that we've really made a difference because 
most COVID cases do not need to be seen by a doctor. They don't need to go to a GP's rooms, infect other people. They don't need a test. All they need is a bit of advice. And so I feel we're making a very valuable contribution by saying, let's educate that sector of the population that should be staying at home and should not be seeking medical care, which is the vast majority of COVID cases. Life is better when you're healthy. Capitec's approach of live better, bank better, really resonated with us at Hello Doctor. And I love the idea. It's, it's so much more than just banking. And so when we partnered with them, the idea was to say, guys, Capitec customers get access to Hello Doctor at a significantly reduced rate because you're a Capitec member. And I love the approach behind the bank was really, we're doing this because we want our people to be healthier. So as a Capitec customer, you get 75% of the monthly subscription to Hello Doctor, just because you're a customer. Download the app, get onto the website, put in that voucher code, and you get that discount indefinitely for as long as you want access to Hello Doctor. Driven by a deep love for his family and a passion to help others, Michael Moll continues to inspire us all to live better. Share your love on our social media platforms using hashtag TheInsiderSA.